Forget gold, forget Bitcoin. This Easter, chocolate isn't even the hot commodity. It's this little exquisite sphere of supply chain drama. In 2019, a dozen eggs would cost you around $1.54. But by last year, that sunny side price scrambled all the way up to $4.15. That's a 170% increase according to CBS News' price tracker of everyday goods. In January alone, prices flew up another 15%. Blame it on the impacts of inflation, as well as the bird flu, which wiped out 40 million egg-laying hens in 2024. That's not just a dent in breakfast, that's a crack in the entire supply chain. Eggs are going from farm fresh to finance breaking. Engineers are stepping in to hatch some help. Biomedical engineers at Washington University in St. Louis have developed a biosensor that can detect airborne bird flu in under five minutes. Using a plasmonic photothermal effect and a sensor to spot viral RNA in the air with high precision. Now that's what I call cracking the code. Still, if you're hunting for something sweet this Easter, you don't have to put all your hope into one basket. Let's talk candy. I bet you did something today you feel pretty good about. Bet you did. So go get your Mars bar. Come on, you deserve the best. Mars, the candy company, not the planet, has been around since 1911. But lately, they're letting algorithms into the kitchen. Their proprietary AI tool, Brahma, whips up 50 new product concepts a day, powered by data from 80,000 people across 11 countries. Beyond product development, AI is transforming Mars' marketing, tailoring ads for impulse-driven shoppers, and doubling social media click-through rates. The company is also engaging gamers using AI-driven insights to refine its Respawn product line. And with over 30,000 gaming interactions, Mars is co-creating snacks with players. From targeting snackers on socials to teaming up with gamers, Mars is now using AI to sharpen those cravings and sweeten sales. Fun fact, some gamers snack with chopsticks. Not for style, but for smudge-free controllers. Who knew? Looking ahead to the near future, soon you could text your favorite M&M to suggest flavors because nothing says personalization like a peanut with Wi-Fi. But Mars isn't the only one engineering the future of sweets. Gentlemen, our future rests on the success of this cookie. Yes, CW, but what do we name it? Nabisco initially owned Oreos when they were introduced in 1912. Now Mondelez, the company currently behind Oreos, has engineers and data scientists cooking up cookies with code. Their AI doesn't just guess, it studies aroma, texture, nutrition, and even shelf life to optimize the next snack sensation while considering cost, sustainability, and nutrition. This speeds up product testing by four to five times making it easier to roll out new treats like gluten-free golden Oreos. Mondelez employees keep proprietary recipes secret, but the AI tool uses recipes to suggest new ingredients, replacing the trial and error process. Developed in 2019 with Forkai now part of ThoughtWorks, the Mondelez AI tool uses machine learning, not the generative AI or chat GPT. I know, you're still thinking, what about my peeps? Turns out peeps have their own engineered edge. Each chick goes through a high pressure extrusion process. Yes, extrusion, to create that iconic fluffy form. It's sugar science meets soft robotics and those eyes applied by precision machine dots, three per second. So whether it's sensors for superbugs or software for snack fans, engineers are engineering more than just gadgets. They're reshaping what we eat. Sure, techie treats are tempting, but can they really replace those Easter eggs? Ah! All right. Turns out the Easter Bunny was hoarding inventory, and in this economy, that's like a felony. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. Hey, who needs some eggs? $8 for a dozen fresh from the Easter Bunny.